her greatest ambition in life was contribution, making a difference in the lives of others. Fern and I grew up in Miami, Oklahoma. She was five foot two, probably 105 pounds. She loved adventure. Her sorority sisters nicknamed her Peerless Fern. After graduating from law school, Fern joined a well-known firm in Tulsa, but something else was calling her. She left a lucrative career to join the Peace Corps in Namibia. She would get uh, her former co-workers to donate computers. She was not only a very generous person herself, um, she brought out generosity and others. During a trip to Washington, D.C., Fern was offered a job in Iraq. Basically what she was doing, she was organizing independent Iraqi men and women, preparing them for a democracy, helping them to get the education they needed to build a civil society. I'm Fern Holland and I work for USAID. They want to set up a women's center here uh, that will provide job skills, generate income for the local women, and also to empower women. Women all over the South Central region I've observed are so enthusiastic and they're so hopeful. You see it in their faces. Every meeting you see it in their faces, that energy. Hopeful for a future that includes women in Iraq. Fern wasn't naive about the challenges and danger facing her. Just a few weeks before Fern's murder, she sent an, an email home. She wrote, I love the work, and if I die, know that I'm doing precisely what I want to be doing. Wish us luck. Wish the Iraqis luck. Fern Holland was killed in Iraq on March 9, 2004, when the car she was traveling in was ambushed. Fern's brother said after her death, Fern was one in 10 million people. You hope in your life you'll come across someone like that once, but she'd hate to be thought of like that. Look up humble in the dictionary. That was her.